When solving polynomials of higher degree, you need to find a way to factor them. In this instance, we have a power of 3 and a binomial. Our best chance of factoring this is using the sum and difference of cubes, um, or what I call Sadoc. In order to use Sadocs, you need two cubes. In this instance, 8 happens to be 2 to the third power. So you do have your two cubes, and you are able to factor in that manner. Now, when you factor using Sadoc, you're going to get a binomial and a trinomial answer. Your binomial answer is going to just be a replication of your original binomial, except with no powers. So you have an x minus 2, you're going to have an x minus 2. That easy, that simple. In this trinomial, you're going to have your first term squared, your last term squared, and the reason you squared is because you're really finishing the piece of the puzzle. If you have one x here and two x's here, that's three total. Same thing with the twos. In between, you're going to take the two bases and multiply them together, two x. Now all of these happen to be addition signs because when you're factoring with the sum and difference of cubes, there will only be one negative in your entire factored solution. The more formal way of writing this, of course, is actually to multiply the 2 to the second power. Now from there you're going to break your answer into two parts. One of those is going to be x minus 2 equals 0, and the other one is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Now in solving this one, all you have to do is take the inverse operation of both sides, and voila, you have one of the three answers that you need. On this side, you have a quadratic, which means you're going to have two answers. Now you can never factor this trinomial using what I call the magic x. The reason for that is Sadoc problems, when you factor them down, you will never be able to factor this trinomial. It, the math doesn't work out that way. So you have two choices. You could either use completing the square, or you can use the quadratic formula. I'm going to use the quadratic formula. a is 1, b is 2, c is 4. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a is the quadratic formula, for those of you who have forgotten. After you substitute everything in, you're going to get negative 2 plus or minus negative radical 12 all over 2. At this point, you need to simplify your expression. First of all, radical 12 can be simplified down. And because it's negative, you're going to have an i or an imaginary solution. This becomes 2i radical 3 all over 2. Since this is a 2 and this is a 2 and this is a 2, you can all simplify these fractions. This becomes a negative 1. This just becomes i radical 3 all over 1. Well, this 1 on the very bottom is not necessary, so you wouldn't write it in your final answer. You would just write negative 1 plus or minus i radical 3. There's your second two answers. There's your third. And you've solved this higher level polynomial.